All right, so when you go into AI and GPT within Enriched Data, so right here, you'll see there are a few different integrations. The two main ones are Converse with ChatGPT and Complete Prompt. So first, I'm just going to explain the differences and the different use cases, and then uh, I'll dive into how to actually use each one of these. So uh, Converse with ChatGPT is our most up-to-date, highest quality AI integration that we have. It is currently running on GPT-4, um, and it has the ability to generate pretty complex outputs. On the other hand, Complete Prompt is still using GPT-3, which means the outputs will not be as high quality. It might have trouble with more complex tasks. However, uh, when you're looking for what use cases you should you, the different use cases in which you would use Converse with ChatGPT versus Complete Prompt, I'd say really there is just one. Um, if you're trying to generate any message or use AI within Clay, Nine times out of 10, I would just use Converse with ChatGPT. The only um, scenario in which I would not use Converse with ChatGPT is if you want to access some pre-built prompts. So what I mean by that is if you go into Complete Prompt, you'll see right here, there's a feature called Snippets. Uh, we will be adding this to Converse with ChatGPT eventually. Right now, it is only within Complete Prompt. But these snippets allow you to uh, access some pre-built prompts and answer questions. If you're not using snippets, I would really just stick with Converse with ChatGPT just because it is operating off of the newest GPT model that exists currently, uh, and it will be higher, uh, higher quality. So now going into how to use Converse with ChatGPT. If we open it up, uh, first we need to highlight or essentially say how many messages we want. And so for right now, I'm just gonna say three to give this example. So once you type the number of messages, you'll see for each message, there is a role for the message and the content for the message, right? I put in three messages up here and you'll see for each message, I have both of those. So for role, there are three different roles. There are, there is system, user, and assistant. System is context for the AI. So something I really like to do is say uh, for system, I can say, hey, you are, you are my assistant helping me research companies, right? We're kind of just setting the stage. The more context and the more information we can give the AI, the better the, the result is going to be. So uh, whenever you choose system, you, you know, you can really just give context around what you are looking to achieve and what the AI is helping you with. You know, you could even specify uh, you are my assistant helping me research companies. You're also helping me write emails in concise and formal ways that are also friendly, right? We can kind of specify the tone and give context for the tone here as well. The second option is user. Uh, user is the input um, that you, you would be typing, right? So say we have 20 different rows and for each row, we want to say, summarize the company description. Uh, or let's say, Let's say summarize the input I'm about to give you in eight words or less. And then we say, here's the input. And then we could map in the input from, or the company description, right, from LinkedIn. And for every single row, it is now going to treat this as the user message. And for every single row, it's going to send out that message saying, hey, summarize this input and then it is going to give us its response. The third type of role is assistant. Um, and this is again, to help really just give context um, and help uh, ensure that the outputs from ChatGPT are within the realms or close to what you're looking for. So for example, if, um, if we wanted to summarize the description and um, really, I'd say just call out major keywords, right? What we could do in this example column is, you know, we could copy and paste a description from a company, uh, which I'll actually just go ahead and do, right? So say we go to Start Engine, let's open up their LinkedIn profile and let's copy this whole description, right? And then let's go back into Enriched data with AI and GPT. 
And as an example, we'll say, here's an example description. We'll put this in quotes. And then we'll say, here's an example output. And then in quotes, you know, we'll put um, start engine does equity crowdfunding, uh, crowdfunding based in LA, 1 million investors, right? Um, the more examples we give, the closer it might be, but uh, this is really optional, it's not super needed. So when you combine all of these, you have a place where you can first give context, then you can give your input and you can also give example outputs. Now, uh, very important to keep in mind, you do not need to do all of these. Say you really just wanted one message and that one message is your input and all you wanted to say was, um, tell me the typical weather for and then let's just go ahead and put in the locality. We could just do that and just with one message, save this uh, and be able to run it from there. But um, Conversive Chat GPT does give you the ability to add multiple messages and multiple prompts. And if you use Chat GPT uh, and you've experienced it before, you probably know that a lot of times it takes a lot of back and forth. And this Conversive with Chat GPT really allows you to test that out. Uh, so again, Major differences between Converse with ChatGPT and Complete Prompt. Converse with ChatGPT is on GPT-4. Complete Prompt currently, as of today, is on GPT-3. And additionally, um, you know, if you're looking to do anything in AI uh, or with AI, I would use Converse with ChatGPT. If you're looking to just access snippets, then I would do Complete Prompt to access snippets.